I welcome you all to the uh, class of 2014 assembly. Welcome to class of 2014. Parents, friends, faculty, staff. Here we are on the eve of your graduation. Coming together in this theater for one last time before baccalaureate and before commencement exercises. To honor your, and celebrate your achievements, your relationships, and your memories as a class. So before this train barrels out of the station at breakneck speed and deposits you very much hopefully, whether dependent on the law at Sharp House, diploma in hand tomorrow. And that diploma, by the way, is the greatest of the prizes that anyone will receive over the course of these days. Before we go ahead and do that, I'd actually like for us to take a moment. I'd ask that the class of 2014 take this moment and look around this theater at the friends and the faculty and the family who have enriched your lives over your years at Blair. Soak it in. Soak in these last experiences of sitting in these chairs as Blair students. And remember both the good times and the challenging ones. For all those experiences together have formed you into the person you are today. And as Batuli so wonderfully reminded us at the Gratitude Chapel, let us be grateful for the people, the places, the ideas, and opportunities that have come into our lives through Blair. As I am grateful that you have shared your lives and allowed us the pleasure of being part of your growing up. Before we continue, and before I ask you to turn off and put away your cell phones, for those who are interested, I invite you for the first time to take out your phone. And if you choose, like I will, to record at least this moment with at least one picture. It's the class of 2014. <laughs> <laughs>
the Robert F. Harris Dramatics Award, Sally M. Wiener, the DuMont English Prize, the Charles H. Breed Latin Prize, the Purchase Art Prize, Gordon Wong, the Joseph F. Eberly Memorial Prize. Serving as a prefect at Blair is no small task. I would ask that the following please stand when I call their names in reverse alphabetical order. <laughs> Gordon Wong, <laughs> Megan Tsai, Abby Trump, please stand. Grace Tenney, Sasha Tatum, Carlin Smith, Julia Stadlinger, Michael Silverthorne, Michael Schiffert, Casey Sibright, Jessica Sabin, Alex Romano, Annika Rollock, Christopher Powers, Kevin Pierce, John C. Phillips, Young Sun Park, Cheryl Musiolo, Graham Merrifield, Lizzie McNeil, Aiden McAleer, Bettina Mariano, J.D. Lewis, Sam Loring, Andrew <coughs> Cheryl Lima, Kyle Jackson, Si Hoon Lin, Josh Hui, Lindsey Green, Daniel Geller, Anna Sophia Dialzara, Walker Dempsey, Demetri Demetrius Dalturus, H. Cordero, Will Cooley, Matthew Collins, Hei Yun Chung, <coughs> Paige Bykowski, Kevin Breslin, Esther Bay, John Ariola, and Tay Hui. You are the first faces most new students and parents see when they arrive at Blair, and you serve the school tirelessly by living and working in underclass dorms, mentoring younger students, and leading by example. Despite the many pressures you face as a high school senior, you have looked beyond yourselves and espoused the Blair values and culture for the younger students. You have cajoled, embraced, counseled, advocated and inspired. Your many efforts are not always publicly acknowledged, but please know they are appreciated by all of us. On behalf of the headmaster, your housemasters, and the entire faculty, I thank you for all that you have done this year to impact and influence the future of this school. Thank you. young men and women with big personalities. They worked tirelessly throughout the year to move the school forward in this time of transition. And every Friday, they showed up to entertain us, inform us, and bring us together as a community. They will forever be remembered as we ponder the question, what does Mrs. Foch say? <laughs> I have loved working with each and every one of them. So thank you. Please stand up as I call your name can acknowledge your service to the school. Esther Bay, Sam Giddens, Jasneel Kalam, Cheryl Lima, Sarah Moran, Monica Rollick, Abby Troy, Chris Wilson, and Gordon Wong. Stand up as I call your name. Annie Finney, Eliza Lawless, David Mascarinas, and Liam Sabina. Each year, the Kumbhati Society recognizes the top 
of academic members of the senior class in this very traditional formal presentation. For those who know me, I'm not this formal, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's a formal event. So, modeled after the Collegiate Honor Society Phi Beta Kappa, Kuwadi was established in 1906, the Blair Chapter, founded in 1921. There are now over 300 active chapters amongst the independent high schools. Each spring, the faculty who belong to Kuwadi review the academic records of the top members of the class. In addition to actual grades, we also consider the degree of difficulty, as well as their desire to learn, their motivation, their course load. Last year, the following members of this year's senior class were elected as juniors. So when I call your names, I'd like you to each stand and you stand in. Tehi Wan, Gat Sung Bie, Claudia Choi, Anna Sophia Dialazera, Josh Wee, Elizabeth Wallace, Andy Lippman, Graham Merrifield, Kevin Sun Park, Monica Rollick, and Sally Wiener. The students selected this year to be members have distinguished themselves through their academic careers at Blair. This year they elected to take extremely challenging courses. They challenged themselves, they performed at the highest level. They have proven themselves to truly well-rounded students who seek to excel academically and for whom learning is a genuine, genuine pleasure and a real reward for their best work. Not only have they exhibited dedication to their studies, but they've also brought creativity and enthusiasm to their classes. It is with great pleasure that I now ask the following students to come on stage. Taka Park Lumuan, Hei Yun Chung, Nicholas Tyler Tanapoli, <laughs> Lindsay Catherine Green, David Thomas Mascarenas, Lindsay Marie Metz, Ju Hyun Park, Arjun Madajaran Paramba, Jessica Nicole Saman, Casey Bruce Severite, Marie Louise Stadlinger, Ryan and Stiefel, Sasha Rose Tatham, and Abigail Anna Troy. seek to further broaden your learning in every aspect of your lives. As new members of the Kumwadi Society, I now present you with these pins of membership.
Blair is a uniquely successful one. The Kelly Prize was established to honor Jim and Elaine, but it especially honors the experience all of you have had as the postgraduate year at Blair will affect you forever. This year's recipient has gone above and beyond in every area and worked to make the most of his Blair experience, whether playing football, lacrosse, singing in the musical, inspiring us in chapel, acting as a mentor of crush boys, serving on senior class councils, or even speed shoveling mulch on this great day of service. He's always giving 110%. Chris's infectious, positive attitude has made a lasting impact at Blair, and we know he's going to continue to do great things at Holy Cross and beyond. With great, plot, with great pride, we award the Jim and Lane Kelly Prize to Christopher Graham Wilson.
look is a pretty penetrating one. It seems to remind you that while he likes you at heart, you could be doing more. <laughs> Thus he was, in every sense, a true Blair master. So the Walker Prize for us should be about legacies, the people you know as your classmates and remembering. And with that in mind, I think you'll admit that these two young men are folks you will recall as the years roll by and as the reunions roll along too. Between them, they seem to embody all those characteristics that make you say, this is a good guy, a good successful guy with significant real passion that he's seldom afraid to express, a trustworthy guy, a good smile, ready to laugh, smart, and seemingly always there. As I say most years about the winners of the Walker Prize, it's not just that each is a bright guy. It's pretty clear that for the Walker Prize, whether from just down the road or another continent, each one is the right guy for the faculty and the class of 2014. It gives me great pleasure to award on the faculty's behalf the Harold F. Walker Memorial Prize to Daniel Benjamin Geller and Gordon Wong. Whether it was basketball or baseball, this guy played the game one way, full out. 
He is tenacious and unwilling to give in under pressure. He's also got some nasty about him. Coach Mantegna and I agree, that's a good thing. <laughs> his never back down attitude has served his teams well, along with his excellent leadership as captain of both teams his senior year. He was selected all Maple and All-State in baseball the last two years. He's the winner of the Brooks Baseball Prize and the Senior Athletic Award. On his way to pitch for NJIT, I am pleased to award the Dallin Athletic Prize to Sean Labresco.
share with you that 95% of our class has made a Blair Fund gift this year, demonstrating just how committed our class is in supporting our school. On behalf of Blue and Mikey and Senior Class Council, we would like to thank all of our classmates who participated in the class drive. 95% participation is impressive, and we are so thankful for your united support. Our gift to the Blair Fund supports students and teachers by providing funding for skeptics, petty day celebrations, the Headmaster Society competition, as well as scholarship, lab equipment, and library acquisitions. Tonight, we would also like to acknowledge a special alumnus and emeritus trustee, Mr. Jim Krugman, class of 1965. Although Mr. Krugman is not here with us tonight, we want to thank him for his never-ending support of our class, the Blair Fund, and our great school. For 12 straight years, he has matched the funds raised through the Senior Class Gift Program, helping, helping graduating seniors fully grasp the importance of philanthropy at a young age. Without his generous support, the Blair Fund and the Senior Class Gift would not be as significant as they are today. Without further ado, Mr. Fortunato, on behalf of, our, of the class of 2014, the Senior Class Council is pleased to present you with our class gift of $5,724. <coughs> go to the class of 2014 video, I wanted to take a moment to acknowledge all those who contributed to the production of that video, starting with Ms. Ms. Ewan. Um, there are also students who were involved in the production, including Sophia Alganyan, Caleb Nadu, Kevin Pierce, Billy James, Sam Esposito, and Jiwon Lee. So we're going to move uh, the equipment here and begin the class of 2014 video momentarily. heard your entire life flashes in front of your eyes the second before you die. First of all, that one second isn't a second at all. It stretches on forever like an ocean of time. For me, it was lying on my back in the bowl, stargazing, and watching pink petals from the magnolia tree that dot the quad in the walkways, and my friend's smiles and the way they seem so fleeting, and the first time after a summer that I saw my best friends and my peers and roommates and teachers. I guess I could feel pretty nostalgic about what happened, but it's hard to stay sad and there's so much beauty in the bubble. Sometimes I feel like I'm seeing it all at once and it's too much. My heart fills up like a balloon that's about to burst and then I remember to relax and stop trying to hold on to it. And then it flows through me like rain and I can't feel anything but gratitude for every single moment of my Blair career. Underclassmen, you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sure. But don't worry, you will someday.
has a fur day, I walk around naked. Because I can do whatever I want, at least all the animals. Oh yeah, no, if I had a master fur day, I would like, let all the blur dogs hang out in the pool. How about the students going out with blur dogs?
and not necessarily that you're going to win the next prize or the next prize or the next prize in future schooling or in your next in your career. But there's a commitment to commit yourselves to the excellence for yourself and to the excellence of others. We want you to take your knowledge and achievements forward to be good people, to make a difference to others and to the world, and ultimately to live a good life, which is, by the way, the real prize for all of you. So before we conclude with the benediction, I'm going to have a bit of housekeeping. Day students and parents, families, we'd ask that you would leave first um, to go to the dining hall, and otherwise boarders and families, there'll be receptions um, here in Armstrong, so we can try to stagger the number of people who are going to be going to the dining hall at any one time. So I thank you all, I congratulate you all, and I turn this over to Reverend Crowner for the benediction. approaching the final steps in this several days long rite of passage as you make your way from being called seniors to being called graduates. This is an emotional time for all of us as we begin to realize that we will all be saying some very difficult goodbyes tomorrow. But it's also a time filled with hopeful anticipation as you are soon to be graduates approach the next phase of your lives as young adults. May God bless each and every one of you. Especially in these next 24 hours, that your transition would be a smooth one, filled with the joy of knowing that you have accomplished the many challenging tasks that were set before you, but also full of the sweet memories of Blair. Now go in peace and with joy and love one another. Amen.